So you end up uh, meeting your now wife when you guys were 14, 15 years old in a church group. Uh, you end up dating, starting to date when you're in college, get married when you're uh, 23 years old. Why get married so young? Why waste time if you found the right one, right? That was uh, my, you know, I, I knew, um, having met my wife in, in, in high school, kind of her story and just, uh, you know, and her family and what she was about, you know, very faith-oriented woman. And um, she was so driven. I, we didn't date, like you said, through high school and, um, you know, got to college and we, we met again. I like to say we always met again um, out in L.A. when I was at for the ESPYs after the uh, tournament run because uh, she was living out there pursuing her acting career. And uh, that was kind of just fate right there. We two kids from Charlotte meeting again in L.A. on a whim and uh, and then kind of keeping it going and, and dated for what, two or three years uh, when I got to Golden State and um, knew I found the right one. So didn't want to waste any time and, and start a family and, and, uh, and get married and, and um, you know, life is good with her. And you have a young daughter now, Riley. Um, and I understand you actually like delivered her. Yeah, that was an experience. I didn't know going into the to the delivery process that that was I was going to be that hands on. And she, Riley came so fast that I almost didn't have time to get my scrubs on because um, I was actually you know taking care of Aisha when she's getting the epidural and and that whole process. And Riley was was hustling to come out and uh, we did, we were on a we were rushing to get my scrubs on and get in position and. Then, the doctor kind of was like, "Hey, you want to you want to take over?" I'm like, "What? What do you mean? Like, I don't know what I'm doing." He's like, "No, just just you know, just stand right here, and you can you know hold Riley for the first time when she comes out." And and uh, that was a very very cool experience. How has having a child changed you? It just puts everything into perspective, man. I don't ever have a bad day, um, knowing I you know when I go home, I have a you know, wife and daughter, um, you know, to enjoy life with. So. Um, you know, you, especially with basketball and having that as my career, you're very competitive. When when you have a bad game or you lose, it seemed that used to be you know my world like that was, that was it. Like I, you know, kind of all to you know, how you felt about the day. But now, obviously, you're frustrated when things, when things don't go your way. But when I go home, um, that's. There's nothing that, that's, that's more gratifying than coming home and, and spending time with your daughter and your wife and just enjoying what, what God's blessed me with. And, and um, I don't really know what I used to do with my free time. That's the, that's the other thing. Like, you know, when you have a daughter, you know, me and my wife were sitting around uh, the other day just watching her play. And now that she's two, she's kind of a little more independent. But we used to ask her, like, what do we, like, when you came up for practice, like, what did we do? Because it's now all about Riley. So, uh, it's, it's a good, good thing going on. That's why the road trips are so great, though, because you get to catch up and on sleep and yeah, relax exactly. when you're you know, on the road. They want to hear Riley calling, uh, hit me in my face, yelling, Daddy, wake up at, at 7.30, no matter what I did the night before, because she, she doesn't care. She's, it's time to go. For more clips from this interview, visit GrahamBensinger.com.